Actually, no, no. He says I gotta do two more. I only had one in this program. Come on, I've had this thing together now for a month, Rob. Rob tells me I only gotta do two. I've only, like, we didn't, we didn't rehearse any more of that. Well, uh, no, I can't. Now, come on, boy. Come on, guys. You know, we have, to, we have to be sensible. I'll tell you what, instead of doing two more, I'm going to do one long one. How's that? Billy? different kinds of loneliness in this world. Let me just tell you about one. And I'd like to introduce some more of my friends to help me with this loneliness. Bruce Wheaton, you surprised me. Bruce Wheaton, Miss Pamela Marsh. Wayne Nicholson, oh yeah. Sam Moon. You know, sometimes a young man, let's say he's from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. He might feel that, you know, the big city is not the place for him, but you know, the big city has a way of luring a country boy. You know, hell, he wouldn't be in the big city too long before he'd get himself a pretty good job in a factory somewhere. Might even work himself out to be foreman someday, you can never tell. But you know that still don't help his loneliness. A young man like that need to find himself a good woman. Oh hell, he find a woman all right. Some of them big city slicking girls, they might like the way a maritime country boy treat them. With a little respect, perhaps. And they get themselves an apartment downtown high rise, 25th floor. Apartment 2509. And they'd live real well there for quite some time. He'd be bringing home the good bucks. Maybe a whole year passed by, and he'd be walking home late one night after working a double shift. And he'd step off the elevator on the 25th floor and make that long, anxious walk down that short corridor. And thinking everything was just like it was before, he'd open up the apartment door, and that's when he'd see it, that note. that uh, you know the kind of note I'm talking about, too. Say something like, uh, Dear John, I'm gone. A young man like that, hell, he'd have his whole damn world fall right down in front of his face and crumble at his feet on the floor. He'd find himself at four o'clock in the early morning down at the nearest Canadian National Railway Station that doesn't even come down to Cape Breton anymore. And hell, he don't want to go back home yet. Cause let me tell you, son, about maritime country boys, and the same holds true for maritime country girls. They don't like to go home a failure. You know what I mean.
The last minute band, thank you.